a cavalry ball east the shield to and have a Leo Radcliffe. So we're delighted, Minister, that you've honoured us by being here today. You're the fifth minister to set foot on the Great Southern Trail, but you're the first minister for transport to do so. And of course, your other briefs include tourism and uh, sport, both of which are uh, associated with the trail. And I pity, actually, as for some of the poor people that are waiting here to do running all morning, is it? And I hope you'll bear with us for another while anyway. And, uh, but keep them bring up, I suppose. It's not also gay and new bugs, it's Dastan Rodega will still go for Shinny Law here. I was speaking Brian Deeney on Rift, I thought the rest has to trust John, so part of the world is the Deeney of the Kiri. This red letter day and the long history of the Great Southern Trail would never have happened, we'd never be here today, but for the ordinary people. So this is a, a basically a public public partnership. The ordinary public rescued this project almost 25 years ago. In the beginning, for those who might be aware of it, this was a visionary project by Shannon Development back in 1988, basically a generation ago. And uh, co it coincided with uh, opposition from some landowners along the way that uh, Shannon Development pulled out of the project in 1991, and it looked for a while as if the track was going to be sold off by CIE to uh, all and sundry, they had it available to the county council, Limerick and Kelly at one stage, and then anyone that was coming to buy, so you would have had station houses and things like that sold. But uh, the campaign of the ordinary people who uh, went out in all kinds of weather and over all kinds of terrain and kept walking the track and kept using it during the 1990s eventually made CIE think again and they postponed any decision to sell. Now that was very beneficial for CIE actually because around the same time this fibre optic cable was laid on the entire railway network including the North Kerry West Limerick railway line and as you walk or cycle today underneath that track and the whole way back to Tralee is the same story is uh, a fibre optic cable that is generating revenue for CIE. So perhaps they're making more money out of the track now than they did when the trains were running. And uh, the so, like, and we like to feel that uh, only for our campaign that would not be the case. So therefore, um, you know, we feel proud of what we've achieved and we're very happy, of course, that gradually then in the 1990s, the various parties of state agencies and local agencies came back into the picture again. And it started with the Student Summer Job Scheme back 